themselves a one map advantage as they are coming from the winner's bracket. They they beat out Innovare from before. Uh, so Innovare is back here trying to seek some revenge of some form. Uh, I'm your caster, Ink, and casting with me is, of course, a blind gun. Yeah. Finally, it's no longer Boxing Day. Christmas Day is finally upon us. This is the last match that we're going to show you, but it's going to be a long one. Best of five, and I expect these guys to go all the way. Uh, let's see. So we have done all the bands. Looks like the first map is going to be Cannon, and India is going to be our second one. Is it... It's going to be in Canon, India, and Black Air. Okay, yeah. So, pretty exciting uh, matches. I mean, we saw in India, uh, who was that? That was Innovare beat Celsia 7 2. A complete stomp, anyways. Uh, Black Scent, Celsia ended up winning it. It was a really close game. Uh, airplane, we saw Innovare beat Celsius on that uh, three weeks ago, uh, and I don't remember if they've put Cannon or not. Uh, but Innovare is pretty shaky on Cannon, and I'm pretty sure Celsius is just as shaky as well. Uh, so this first map is going to be really interesting. Uh, for Celsius, we have Saifes, Timmy Perno, Let, Sublet, Vitzi, and then for Innovare we have that Karun, Kimba, Zitor, Taz, and Mangi. Uh, so we're going to be really exciting. Remember guys, best of three, uh, best of five, sorry, uh, and Celsius has a one map lead. And I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I think everything that needs to be said has been said. Just waiting for these guys to ready up and we'll continue on. And music is off. Music is off. Monsieur Inc. It is off, right? I, I had it off. I have no idea. <laughs> I hope it's off. Alrighty then, uh, just waiting on Sublet to ready up and get this started. Uh, last batch of the entire qualifier, uh, as has been a long time coming. We've known about this IFF qualifier for about two months now. That's probably the longest time we've ever known about a qualifier for a free trip. Uh, so it's pretty exciting that these teams had a lot of time to uh, prepare, especially these European teams. We've seen Celsius improve their gameplay dramatically. Uh, we saw Crackheads uh, break apart and form Innovare. So a lot of preparation went into both of these teams to get here, and uh, their preparations have paid off. They're in the Grand Finals, but who's really going to edge out faster than the other here? We're about to find out in this countdown. Are you ready, Mr. Blindgun? I am as ready as I'll ever be. Alright, so All I right. think that's Innovare on offense, right? Uh, I believe defense? they're on defense. Okay. Yeah, Innovare on defense. They are opting to choose two scopes to cover the sites, and one scope on the uh, attack side, Timmy Perno. Alright, we guess we're going to have to see how this works out. Uh... Well, it looks like Celsius is going for a 2 push here. They're going towards that generator. They're going to run into Mankey. Mankey is looking for those uh, headshot pop shots that he's uh, known for. So uh, he's going to have to do some work here to defend the site. He gets one kill, but Sublet is just too strong and overpowers him uh, after Let has lit him up a little bit. Vitzi takes down Taz as well. Oh, Timmy wow. Perno just shutting Kroon down. That was a really fast round there from Celsius. They love pushing this and being so aggressive in the first round and asserting their dominance. And it's worked out once again for them as Kimpa and Zitor are at last on alive in a 2v5. They're pushing together, working together, trying to clear everything out, but Timmy Perno is waiting for this pick. Vitzi taking down Zitor, Timmy Perno taking down Kimpa, and that is a team ace. Oh no, that died, I'm sorry. Yeah, Let it actually died at the pretty much the last second. Uh, very clean take for two side. They did end up... Uh, and they're going to do it again. Yeah, getting a lot of trades, and here we go again. Kroon's going to be trying to cut it off this time. Oh, but that smoke is going to make Kroon very useless. Sublet already has taken down Mankey once again. Pretty much a duplicate of the round before, except they didn't lose Let this time. Uh, so now we're going to have to see what Innova's going to try to do. Are they going to try to group together 
and push. That's what they need to do here. But Terry Porter's watching that flank. There's four players sitting on the bomb site, and this is going to be absolutely atrocious for Innovare to try to take back. Well, let's hop onto Kimpa and Zetor here. They're on the back of the stairs. They're pushing up. Everyone else on their team has died. Simula takes down Kimpa, but Saifes takes down Zetor. But it's not going to matter. And this is just uh, absolutely dominating them with this offense. I, I have said before, Innover is a very slower slash passive clan playstyle. Yeah. And these guys are actually just taking advantage of it. Sibla pushes on his own, gets taken down by Kimpa, who just easily outguns him, easily outguns Vitsi as well. Uh, Letu takes down Zetor, but Taz returns with a kill on Light. Cyphus takes down Taz, they have the one side, and Timmy Perno takes down Kroon. Excellent job there. It's going to be a 2v2. That looked like it was going to be a really bad round for Celsia, but they were able to bring back the kills. They got the bomb planted in one as well. Manki and Kimpa, they smoke off the uh, Timmy Perno peak here. Timmy Perno is going to try to shoot the smoke. He's about to get pushed. It's backed off just a little bit. Kimpa's going to push this. Oh my god, Timmy Perno through the wall takes Kimpa. And Manki's last man alive. Doesn't get the kills. He gets pistoled by Cyphers. That's 3-0 for Celsia. And this is the first map, and Celsia is just going absolutely crazy here, Blind. Yeah, they're starting to run away with this pretty quickly. Sibylette is doing a fantastic job as a point man, just getting to those choke points and making sure that he holds it. Zetor has decided to go down mid. He's going to meet up with Vitzi pretty quickly. I'm not sure if Vitzi's actually going to see him or not. He's not, which is very funny, actually. Zetor is trying to stare at that wall. Yeah, and they both they're going to get a clean. Yeah, they might get a clean two take again. Mankey's doing a huge job on two, though. Yeah, Mankey finally did something that two side to defend it, and it was just enough for Zetor to come around and flank, and it's all going to be up to Silhouette now. He's full HP, he has the bomb, but he needs to get some of these kills. He's going to run into Zetor now. If he peeks Zetor, though, Kroon might take him down. Oh, excellent pre fire there from Zetor. And yeah, that's what happens when Mankey gets one or two kills. I mean, that person who's playing two, as if they can get one or two kills, they've delayed the push. And they've made it so much more less effective than what it could be. And that's all it really came down to was those kills from Mankey. Zetor is going to be trying the same thing. Maybe this time uh, Vitsi or Zetor will actually spot him. Yeah, but Taz messes up his shots. Vitsi takes down Taz. Vitsi gets into their spawn. Uh, Timmy Prono takes down Kroon. So pretty much Celsius has control of one site. It's going to be a 3v4. Uh, Innover have only three players. They have Zetor. They don't even have Kempa anymore. It's going to be up to Zetor and Mankey. If anyone can do it, it is these two players if they work well together. But that bomb is going to be set already. There's four players on the site. Saif has Siri Perno playing on the outside. Nate's bouncing all over the place. Smoke's all over. Detour coming in, just getting dropped immediately by Slyfez with that double kill, picking it up on Tamanki. That is now 4 to 1 for Excelsior. Yeah, I'm surprised Nades haven't been dictating what's happening on this map. Very surprising, Kimpa, Taz, and Kroon, the, the really, their main scopes are deciding to scope on defense cannon. So they're obviously going to be playing extremely passive, trying to get the picks and slow down this push as much as possible. Yeah, those three scopes is pretty brutal, man. Uh, they are stacking too, but... I mean, Innover is stacking it, and Zelsia is going to push them, but they have three scopes, and they're getting out gun. Mankey gets no kills. Taz is the only one to pick up a frag. He's still alive in the tunnels there, but it's going to be a 2v4 for Innover once again, and Taz is just taken down, and it's going to be up to Karun. Charge set. You, you can't play three scopes against a defense on cannon, it just doesn't work that way. I actually find it really interesting that this just rush and, uh, rush a site together strategy is working for them. Because this is exactly what Blast employed back in the old days. Uh, to play against Crackheads, they just ended up rushing a site as quickly as possible. And it did end up working for them. It caught them off guard. And it's kind of the same thing that's happening to Innovar right now. Yeah, I mean, when you have three scopes, that's like single firing guns that don't deal damage. People don't realize that... When you tag someone with your rifle and they get hit down to half HP, that means almost as much as a kill because now they can't really exchange with other players. But when you have three scopes, you don't have damage like that and people aren't lit or very low for other rifles to pick up the kills. And that's a huge component of FPS games. It's just like a basic fundamental uh, gameplay thing with HP. And when you have scopes like this, they're just going to get outgunned. 
uh, just by these rushes. And it's going to be really hard to retake sites as well when, ev when all the rifles are still full HP. Yeah, and you can really see the difference between Innovar and Celsius gameplay. You can already see a smoke down, Kempa's trying to get a UAV, Zetor and uh, everyone else is trying to get a pick, Skull's trying to get some picks, Vitsy, wow, amazing play by him. Yeah, Zetor, Kempa, last man alive here. Uh, Zetor does kill Vitsy, and they are going to get that bomb down in a 2v2 here. Cyphus, Timmy Perno are John still Jay. alive, they're probably just going to take their time. Kempa is probably going to try to uh, peek one of these corners. Does see Saifez. Is he going to peek this side as well? He does peek it. Uh, peeks Timmy Prono. Peeks again, but Timmy Prono is prepared for Kimpa's aggressiveness. Uh, Timmy Prono, though, is still trying to shoot through the smoke, and Saifez supports him extremely well. Takes down Zetor. Wow, what the heck is happening here? Is this That's a 6-1. Yeah, these guys are just absolutely steaming rolling in a bar right now. Um... You can obviously see the difference in the playstyles. Innovar is playing very slow, getting the picks, trying to get UAVs, getting smoked down. That all takes a lot of time, whereas Selfie is just going balls deep and they're running into everything. Yeah, that's for sure. Mankey, though, is going to try to get some picks here. He has no support from anyone on his team. It's all on him to get these picks. Uh... Look at the stack on two, though. Yeah, that two stack is actually pretty crazy here. Uh, Mankey takes down Timmy Perno with a nice headshot. Uh, Mankey doing a lot of work, especially when he's on his own. Celsius should allow him to do this, and Sublet takes him down with the Kraken. Kroon isn't there to peek the shot on Sublet, so Sublet is going to get that kill for free. Very little damage actually received on Sublet inside of that site. Uh, it is going to be a 4v4, but Innovare, they still look like they want to go to 2, and there's only Let playing inside of 1. Yeah, and that's the issue right now. They don't actually have anyone scouting on 1 to actually find the weakness of that 1 site. Saifez is, is, is inside their spawn, and he's going to get picked here, Taz waiting patiently, uh, well played. They're probably only thinking there's one person left on site, because they don't expect two people to be on there already. Yeah, it's going to be up to Vitsy here to get some of these kills and help out Subalette as well. Uh, but if Vitsy peeks this side, he's not going to actually see anyone for a while until Taz re-peeks. Um, and let he's he looks like he's trying to come from mid, but he should just wait until the bomb has been planted, or he might get caught by Zetor here. Yeah, and Zetor just takes him down very easily. That's exactly what they wanted, uh, yeah. and they're gonna rotate from this. Yeah, that's gonna be a trigger. Uh, one person trying to go in for a flank. That means the other side's gonna be very, very, very weak. And Zetor again, another kill. And Taz finishes the round out there with the Subulet. Second round to Innover. Uh, Celsius just kind of misplaying the rotations a little bit there. It is still a 6 2 game, though, in favor of Celsius. Yeah, that's for sure. A lot has to go wrong for Innover to be able to pull this out. And the problem is, if Celsius wins this, they only need to win one map out of the next three maps that are played. Yeah, absolutely. That puts a ton of pressure on Innover. Vitsy from Celsius is looking like he wants to control this bookcase here. Uh, he does have control of it. They've stopped pretty much all of Innover from pushing it, but they're about to push this now. They're throwing grenades and smokes. Kimpa can't actually see anyone. Almost gets hit by a grenade. Kimpa's going to try to pre-fire through the wall there a little bit. Doesn't hit anyone. Uh, Bitsy and Let and Stabilit have all backed off from that bookcase. They relinquish control of it uh, in exchange for playing uh, pretty aggressively on the one uh, on the external side of one here. Uh, Kimpa, Karun, Mankey are making the point here. What's going to happen here? Kroon takes down Let, but are these follow-up kills going to mean anything wow. at all? Kroon just too strong with that double kill. I know that uh, the team Celsius does play aggressively, but they're playing needlessly aggressive right now. They ended up getting picked by Kroon twice, yeah. and gave up a free set for it. Uh, the way they were playing aggressively is they should have either held bookcase or held inside of the site. They with, they didn't have the smokes or grenades set up to, but are they going to retake this on Taz? Wow. What? That was a 2v4 retake. Wow, Saifes, Timmy, Perno, playing out of their mind right now. I see with the 15-5, just look at those scores. I mean, absolutely demolishing them. None of them went negative, actually. Just an, uh, an interesting fact there.
is what a dominating performance. Are Inver are they shaken? Are they are they not in the mindset? Do they not have the mentality anymore? I mean, India is going to be their map, and this is the map that they seven one Celsius on, but. That's a huge loss for them on cannon, getting beat six or uh, seven to two. Being like, they need to win one the next map three away maps. From losing. Yeah, like one map, they lose one map and they're out. That's a huge amount of pressure. Pressure. Celsius, they can do whatever kind of funky strategies they want and have no repercussions for the next three maps. Uh, so I don't know. Unfortunately, I, they will be playing on. I would map. say probably Innovera's strongest map. Yeah, like I said, they did 7-1 Celsius in this tournament just a few hours ago, so... Uh, we did know that like, Innovare was pretty lackluster on cannon. It wasn't that surprising to see that uh, Celsius beat them, but Celsius beat them so convincingly. Um, we also saw Celsius, they were playing together, they were playing as a team, they were all close together. Innovare, they had Mankey working picks on his own, and he was a rifle, he had no scope support. Uh, so there's a little bit of contrast and difference there. Maybe, maybe Innover had just said, "Hey, this is canon. We're probably not going to win this. Let's just try to do whatever we can." But I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna have to see what that happens goes in India. In part with their map bans as well. They know that they're extremely weak on cannon, but they did lose on hammer. So they choose they choose to actually uh, loot, pick the lesser of two evils, to say. So they ended up banning hammer, uh, I believe. Not going to be stood mistaken here, am I? Yeah, uh, they did yeah. end up banning Hammer because they got absolutely crushed on on Hammer last time, and allowing Cannon to get through on arguably one of one of uh, Celsius' stronger maps just because they're such an aggressive team. Uh, it's kind of a questionable call. I don't know what, exactly what they were thinking when they let Cannon through, because Hammer Blow they. They can still play a lot of crossfires. They can still handle a rush and still have somewhat of a chance to, you know, somewhat of a chance to uh, come back from it. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, there's well, a lot of a... controversy in the chat right now. People are saying, why is Kimpa not scoping? He's letting down his team. But, I mean, that was the team's decision. They want Kimpa on rifle. They feel like Kimpa's a good enough rifle that he can make that impact while someone else can impact with a scope. Uh, but we also saw that they ran three scopes for two rounds or something on defense as well. Uh, that cannon map was just all over the place. We're going to have to see what happens at India. Uh, it looks like Let has DC'd out of the game, so we're going to have to wait on him to come back here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, everyone's in shock, guys. Go tell your friends to see what happens. This might be the first time Innover or Kimpo's not going to an international event in almost two or three years. Uh, that's that's funny, as you said. As you said that, I was laughing. Just wow, is that true? Kimpa hasn't went to an international tourney. Like, what the heck? Is this the first one he hasn't been able to go to? If if they lose this, it's Mankey's ta Well, okay. Kimpa, Manki, and Saifez have gone to an international event for like the last three years. Or something almost every single time. Taz, uh, Zitor have gone for ISF a couple of times. Uh, I think 2011 and 2012 maybe they went. And maybe 2013. But the funny thing is that now that Saifez is on the opposite team, he's wanting to go too. And he's normally gone with crackheads, right? So he's really getting to beat the uh, Innover team as revenge and stop them, prevent them from going. Uh, Kroon went to AIC uh, previous in this year, but sort of, I think almost every single player in this room went except for maybe. I I should know. I might be wrong on that. I might be wrong there. I might be wrong on Celsius going. Celsius never went to uh, anything. I don't think before. It's just Cyphers. But yeah. So much on the line here. There's there's a lot of history that is going to get changed here, and this is and like if Celsia can beat Innover, um, it's just like a shift in the in the teams like that are the strongest, and that's something that hasn't occurred because Krakus has always been number one for like two years now. Kimpa has always been at the top of his game, carrying his team for like three years. 
Yeah, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's still a really big map to play. This is Innovar's, Innovar's strongest map. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a very steep, long road ahead of Celsius if they want to beat them on this map. Yeah, there's still three maps to go, so we only played one map. There's a lot more to go that could potentially occur. Uh, it rests basically in Innovera's hands and how they're able to play. Hopefully they are rallied back together and they're in a good mindset to continue playing on these games. Uh, I know Celsius is probably on a really good high here after beating uh, Innovera in that first map. Uh, it will suck for Celsius if they lose the next three maps and they were only one map away from going to China. And they completely dropped the ball, but... I don't know guys, let us know in the chat what you guys think, make your predictions, is it going to be Innovera, is it going to be... Uh... Celsia here, and we're going live. The countdown has started. Whew. Very exciting. Yeah, there's a, a lot riding on this right now. Um, not only Innovere's chances to go to China, but their pride as well. They came into this tournament assuming that they had the strongest players inside uh, the community of AVA, but regardless of how strong your players are, the teamwork has to be there as well. Yeah, and we're live into the first round here. Celsius on offense, uh, Innovera on that defensive side. Taz missing a shot at mid, actually hits Let on his second shot. Uh, it's going to be Kimpa and Kroon here. The this aggressive push is not going to work out for Celsius. Kroon is just going absolutely ham, getting a triple kill. Can he follow up with a quadra? Oh, wow. no, Kimpa's going to take down Timmy Prono. Saifa is his last man alive. He's in currently in one. Is he going to do anything crazy this game? He takes down Taz. He's half HP. He's got three more players of Innovera to deal with before he can win this round. He's going to reload. Gonna come around this corner, try to peek the players, and he's just gonna get destroyed by Mangy and a grenade. Uh, so yeah, Celsia, they tried their uh, aggressive first push to assert dominance, and it backfired because Kroon got three kills. Yeah, and that's the advantage of the uh, defensive team on this map. They have so much time to set up, get some crossfires ready for any sort of rush. Even if the entire team went point man, they would still be set up for them. Yeah, indeed, and... I don't know, it looks like Celsius, they've split up 2-1-2 two, two on offense, it's kind of what you would see on defense, but they're just going to try to go for picks. The bomb is sitting in the uh, spiral area, at rug or whatever we call it these days. Uh, Vitsi and Cyphus though are playing on the stairs, they're going to try to be a distraction of some form. Sublet is playing at mid, Mankey, Kimpa, Zito are all over at 1. Um, gonna have It's kind of actually a stacked one site, I'd have to say. Kroon is going to have to defend this and make the right calls for Taz to rotate. Uh, if he does see any players at all, but is Celsius, are they going to realize what type of layout uh, Innover is trying to do here? Like, do they realize that one is pretty stacked pretty heavily? A lot of mid play well, coming out here from Innover as well. Yeah, they're really trying to find out where the weaknesses are right now. Vitsi's just single handedly trying to go into that vent. And that's going to be kind of a silly play as Kroon's going to be getting into a 1v3 situation. Letu taking him down. Kaz taking him down. Letu, and they know for sure it's a two site. And that's going to be a 3 4. But Celsius have taken control of the two site. Are they going to be able to retain this control as there's two players from Innover coming on each side of the entrance? Uh, Timmy Prono, he has to go absolutely huge here. He cannot miss his first shot. If he misses first shot, that could be really dire. Kimpa's already in the shot in the site, and they're all gonna rotate back to the spawn. They're gonna fake out Timmy Perno. Saifez, all on you. He gets one kill. He gets doesn't get a double. He has his pistol, but it's all up to Timmy Perno. He lands one. He's getting pushed. Misses the second shot. He tries to pistol pre-fire. Oh. Oh, oh wow, God. that was really close for Timmy Perno to get that clutch. Uh, superb play by both teams, especially with that. Quick re-rotate back to the spawn. Operation that was an incredible call. Uh, make sure that they don't get caught by Timmy watching that courtyard. Yeah, Zitor and Kimpa, they made noise in that spiral. No, it wasn't Kimpa, it was Zitor and someone else, but they made noise in that spiral and it forced Timmy Prono to keep staring there. Uh, so they, so Celsius had one last player in the site to focus on that door when four players came through. That was really great. Uh, Kimba just destroying Let on uh, defense here. Zitor taking down Cyphus. Vitsi ending Mankey, but... Kills back and forth, but it's going in the favor of Innovare right now. Yeah, it's just like an atomic bomb just blew up in one and killed a whole bunch of people. It's a 1v3 situation all of a sudden in the matter of a couple seconds. 
Yeah, exactly, and Terry Perno needs to clutch this out, but he's got so many players to kill in so many spots, and he's going to be taken down after one kill. Um, I feel like Celsius might be throwing offense away, and they might be focusing on to win on defense a little bit, because Celsius did pick offense, so maybe they're like, maybe whatever happens on offense, we can win defense because it's the easier side. I think that's kind of their mentality right now. They are trying to win these rounds, but they're just not playing like they were on cannon together. They're kind of split right. up and going in one at a time. I feel, and that's that. That pretty much has a uh, a huge part to do with how the maps are set up. Cannon is extremely offensively sided, whereas India is more of a defensive sided map, and that's really playing out in favor of Innovar's playstyle because they are a slower group. And wow, just the just the way that these teams are playing, they're getting the rotates, they're getting the picks, they're getting the smokes down. Uh, allowing them, giving themselves enough time to respond correctly to every situation. Yeah, and you kind of gotta ask yourself in the pick ban phase. I mean, uh, the teams realized that if they ban, if if Celsius had banned India, fox hunting probably would have been the map that they were playing now or later on. Uh, so the question is to Celsius, why don't they want to play fox hunting when India is going to be the map that they'll have to play if they don't play fox? Um. I don't know, I, that's kind of a question I want to ask Celsius, but Taz opens up with a kill into Timmy Perno for this round. Uh, Sibylet and Vitsi are going to take it slower around here. Kimba's going to just get an easy kill into Vitsi. Gets a double kill onto Scythes as well, just really utilizing that corner on the backyard really well. Uh, but they're just going to clean up and Kimba's just doing too good there in that backyard. Yeah, just referring to what you said about the picks and bans, I actually completely agree with you. Celsius should have banned off India because they know how, they already knew how well Innovar plays on India. They got beat on it. They got destroyed on that map. Yet they let it through. Um, I mean, I guess that kind of counters their cannon miss too, right? Uh, yeah, Innovar I mean, let it's... cannon get through as well. I, I don't know what map exactly was banned. I believe Fox Hunting was banned, of course. But what was the other Fox map that was banned? Hammerblow. Hammer Blow. Well, that kind of makes sense on Hammer Blow, but I don't know. Maybe cannon kind of caught Innovar by surprise. I'm not sure. Well, they but... would have to pay, play the the map regardless. Oh wow, what a nice nade by Zetor on uh, out of vent, dropping, dropping. Who was that? Vitzi, and uh, getting a four v five advantage. Yeah, someone needs to tell Zetor that this is not hammer blow. You're not supposed to get nade kills on India. The god nades are real though. And Kimpa getting another advantage. Yet again on Sibylette, making it 3v5, not looking good for um, for Celsius. And yet another person goes down, and another person, Cyphus all by himself with the C4, trying to make good of a bad situation. He's going to get taken down quite easily by Zetor, and it's 0-5, they have yet to the scoreboard yet. Yeah, the question is, is this map just so defensive sided that that's why uh, Celsius can't do anything, or is it just because Innova is so good on this map? Uh, is it because Celsius they like to rush as a group together, and does that not work on this map with such tight uh, corners and stuff? Wow, and, like, Taz... Taz getting a double kill in mid. Yeah, all these passageways are so narrow, and I guess if you put a scope there, you're, that scope could potentially get a 3k. Mankey's pushing down mid, gets one kill, but Timmy Prono is ready for that push, takes down Mankey. Getting ready for another kill, Timmy Prono peeking into the spawn, all he sees is smoke, all he sees is Taz shooting a bullet in his face. That's a 3k for Taz right now. Yeah, And they're Celsius, gonna spot the C4 as well. Yeah, Celsius definitely needs to use smokes a lot more when they play at mid. Uh, going mid without the smokes is kind of asking to get picked off by the scopes. Yeah, I agree with that call as well. Uh, they should be a little more patient when making pushes. Yes, making pushes and getting them off guard is nice, but when you're getting shut down by scopes and nades and all that, really all the above, eliminated. it's gonna make your push really you know weak hearted it's not gonna be worth it and they're now they're paying the price for it it's zero six in favor of innovar yeah at this point i don't think celsius i think when they were down 4-0 i think celsius just gave up on trying to win this map they're just trying to rush and get it over with uh like they do have a proper setup here they are still trying to win the round but i think they have no motivation to win this, and look at this, all of Innovar just get through that vent. 
Uh, they have complete sight, one control, there's two players on the stairs, Let takes down Mankey, Kroon takes down Cyphez, Zitor takes down Vitsi at the spawn. Uh, Zitor takes down Vitsi, but Let is still fending back with a double kill of his own, but Taz finally takes him down, Kimpa locking down the site. Almost getting that kill to Subalette, takes him down, and that's gonna be all they wrote for this map. That is gonna be the first 7-0 wow. of this entire event. And it was 7-0 in the Grand Finals. Yeah. I mean, it's funny that it was a 7-0, and then it was a 7-0 in the Grand Finals, a 7-0 against Celsia, a 7-0 after Celsia just completely stomped the team that 7-0'd them uh, in the first map. Ah, uh, so much back and forth, and now it's going to be Black Sand, and I do feel like Celsia eventually started getting the upper hand on Black Sand because they started figuring out how to play this map correctly in the previous match. But I do think Innerware probably learned from their mistakes, and this map was very close. It was pretty back and forth, was it not? It was 7-5, to five, I believe. Um, yeah, it was 7-5. to five. Um, Celsia gained a lot of momentum towards the end there and got three straight rounds in a row, I believe. Uh, gave them a lot... A lot of options after Innovar played so passively on Generator, I believe, is what had happened. Um, I, I wonder if they're going to stick with that tactic. Uh, advisably, probably not. They need to have control of that Generator because they're just losing so much map control because of it. Just waiting for everyone to F5, and we'll get this started. This is the best of five grand finals of the IEF qualifier. The winner of this will get a free ticket to China and try for a $20,000 uh, prize pool going up against all the international teams, including Korea, Taiwan. Uh, I'm not sure what the other countries are going to be, but it's going to be a gong show, and it's going to be crazy. So I hope you guys stay tuned uh, to finish and find out what happens in this crazy matchup that we have against Celsius and Innovar. It is the fourth game. Uh, this is possibly deciding the fate of Innovar. They are one map away from losing this entire match, but they are in a little bit of a momentum coming out of that 0-7 win out of India. Yeah, I completely agree. Uh, Celsa, they have the uphill battle right now. Even if it was equal, I think it is going to be an Innovar's favor to win this map. I do think Innovar can win Black Sun, but... Oh, this is going to be a doozy, man. So, let's see. It's going to be Celsius on defense. It's going to be Innover on that offensive side. Let's see who can test that generator. It looks like it is going to be Celsius who tries to take that generator. Innover just leave it completely alone and they go to Warren's 1. You know, I was actually a little scared Timmy Perno was AFK, but he's decided to actually stay in spawn on top of where the NRF usually spawns. Looking at that generator down long. Yeah, Kroon is trying to watch that rotate uh, flank kills here. Cyphus takes down Zetor as they try to push into the site here, and Cyphus is just shutting them down! Kimpa eventually gets a kill, but then he has to reload, and Led is just going to come around the green board and just take him down. And that's a really good defensive hold coming up from Celsia. Yeah, what a rotation by Led too. Uh, Cypher is getting two kills on there, Led being on the stairs to support his teammate, really good job. Yeah, we're gonna have to hop onto Taz here. He's pushing the one side. He's the one that has to get a couple of kills here. And he's very low HP now. He can't move. He's so tr He's gonna have to bait for Kroon to maybe get a kill above him. Taz made it onto the side. He gets one kill to Timmy Prono. That's not gonna make Celsius happy. Uh, let's see. Vitsu? Is that Vitsu? Taz or and Kroon actually could pull this off. Oh, oh, unfortunately missing a shot though. Kroon is going to be pretty much done for as Sibylette comes in on the flank and finishes him off. 0-1 uh, in favor of Celsius. Uh, well, Celsius just... that defensive hold was too good by Cyphez. I mean, it was Cyphez's internal skill or their positioning, but... Oh what? my god! What? And that is probably going to be the round as Desmodus... Oh, Desmo, and done. <laughs> yeah, what much else is there to say about that? I mean, ch pushing generator, it's like a 50-50 chance depending on, like, the spawns. It really comes down to the spawns, and the spawns are RNG, so... Uh, I don't know, like, generator is pretty a risky thing to do. Taz, solo HP, he's gonna be destroyed. Kroon gets destroyed by Timmy Parnell, and that's gonna be 2 0 for Celsius. Uh, Innovera, they need to bring this back. They need to not be so aggressive. They need to retain some, uh, uh, retain something. Uh, 
they don't want to lose any more rounds. They're one round, one map away from losing this. But they're going to push Generator again, and it works out for them this time. There's that 50-50 chance. Vitor with a nice double kill onto Vitsy. Taz opening up with a kill on Let as well as they push out onto this two site. A crew just dominates Syphez and shuts Syphez down. So what are they going to do now? Timmy Prono is trying to fight back, gets a kill onto Zitor. Charge set. But Kroon is just crouching behind the generator on just an odd angle. Going to catch Timmy Perno off guard by a little bit. Yeah, that was uh, really well played by Zetor. Getting that double kill opens up so much of the map when you get control of that generator, and that really paid off for them. Yeah, Innover definitely wants to tie this up 2-2. Two two. They don't want Celsius to have a 3-1 advantage over them. That's a really hard mountain to climb up here. Scythe is though, yep, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, continue. Sorry, we, uh, we have a huge office push actually led to sitting all in uh, in the office all by himself. He's going to be taken down. It's a 3v5 situation in favor of the Innovar team. Or sorry, Celsius. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wow, these names. Uh, yeah. It's going to be advantage to Innovar. Yeah, look at the setup from Timmy Perno and from Scythe. They're kind of just trying to cover each other here. Really risky play. Kroon has the bomb, but he's sitting all the way over at the one st uh, warehouse stairs, I should say. Uh, it looks like Innover is just going to milk some picks and some rotation kills off of this uh, balcony. And that's exactly what they could do. I mean, they have map control. They can take as long as they want at the moment. Yeah, right now, I really enjoy how Innovar is playing this. Um, they are showing that, yes, we can push too. Uh, you guys are pushing us. We'll push you right back. And it's pretty much coming out to be a a uh, contest of who has the bigger hammer. Um, obviously, Innovar is pretty much matched with Celsius at the at this moment. It's just a, a matter of spawn time. Timmy Proto is in the mix of things here. He's going to take down Taz, but he doesn't know where anyone else is. He's surrounded on all sides. Uh, Kroon is just going to rotate over to one. Uh, Kimpa is sitting behind Timmy Proto. Zitor is up on the balcony. Why is Zito and Kimpo allowing Timmy Prono to keep moving around so much? Uh, I thought they were going to get shut down, but that was a really interesting round there from Celsius. They lost control of the balcony, and when you lose control of the balcony, you have no more map control. That is the center figure of the map. Yeah, it's a huge loss when you lose that office. Um, this time, Celsius did end up getting control of Generator, but at what cost? Taz is already almost in their spawn. Timmy Pernalo shutting down Taz's attempt there to win the round for his team. Uh, Kuhn, Zitor, and Kimbar are the last men alive in a 3v5 uh, heading into this fifth round of the map. That door is going to get closed by Let2 if he can find it. Uh, so that's going to leave Zitor with a little bit of a problem. He's either going to have to rotate there or keep playing around with the door. Kimba is. Sibylette's in a really sneaky spot right now. <laughs> Is he up in the vent? Yeah, he's up in the vent. He's he probably going to catch Sibulet or Kimpa off here. Kimpa's going to have a nice surprise waiting for him in the... Oh, Sibulet almost got taken down though, so good job by Kimpa. But it is a 2v5 now. Yeah, that's that's a definite problem now. Uh, Kroon, Zitor, uh, they, they have really no map control of any form. They do have the bomb, but Kroon is going to have to get this pick on Vitsy and Generator. What Bitsy can do here. Nope, Kroon is just gonna run away. He's gonna pick up the bomb. Bitsy gonna look to his right, takes down Kroon. That's gonna be the round. That's gonna be 3 to 2 for Celsius. This is gonna be the final round for this first half before the side switch, guys. So, uh, definitely each team wants to win this. Innover wants to win this to tie up the rounds. Uh, Celsius wants to win this to have a two round lead on, uh, on offense. And Tiblet takes down Zetor really quickly there. And that prevents the rest of Innover from pushing into this generator. Definitely have to say Celsius has the better generator control than any other team we've seen so far. Always getting those opening kills. Sublet is going to play in a corner, takes down Taz, can he find another? No, but he does his work, gets a 2k, only for one kill. Uh, Kimpa though is still pushing that generator. With Mankey, Bomb is actually behind on the ramp side. But it's still going to be a 3v4 blind. Yeah, 3v4 and 
they don't really have any control on the map except for cooler. Uh, I don't think that's really going to be beneficial for them because, well, they don't have any pressure anywhere else. For all they know, they could be three people on their flank and one person on two. Yeah, exactly. The push from two uh, from generator is going to come out here. Kimpa's trying to push the pipes here. Uh, Timmy Porto looks away at the wrong time. He should keep this again. He might actually get a kill. But he is getting naded quite a bit. Nades are coming out. Vitsy takes down Kimpa. Mankey takes down Letty with nades are coming down here. Mankey at the back stairs. Kroon as well going to the back. Probably going to scope the hallways. He takes down Vitsy actually. Really good pick there from Kroon. Going to even out to 2-2 two to two right now. All about that retake from Timmy Perno and Syphus. Syphus is full HP here compared to Kroon who's very low HP. And Mankey who's also full as well. Um... Who's going to be the key player here, Blind Gun? I really think it's going to be Kroon right now. If Kroon can hit his shots, which he gets taken out, Mankey's going to have a really tough time with it. Mankey might collateral him through the store, but no, that's not going to be the case. Timmy Prono just scopes him down with 16 seconds left on the bomb. That defuse is going to come in, and it's going to be 4-2 to two for Celsius on this side switch. Really well played by Timmy, actually. Um, letting his rifles kind of soak up more of the damage so that he can go in and get the easy pick. Yeah, I completely agree there. Vitsy, though, really quick push into Freezer in there within 8 seconds into the round, actually. Uh, where is he going to try to push? He's also already pushing up to mid side. It's going to be a one push here from the Celsia team. Kroon takes down Fitzy. Luna finds another kill to Superlet. Why are they not looking at those stairs? That's a huge misplay from Celsius. They had such a good push here. But Timmy Perno is also just dominating as well. Let takes down Zetor. Oh man. This is going south so quickly for Innovar right now. Innovar had a two man advantage, and then Timmy Perno just came out of nowhere and just destroyed them. Kaz sees Timmy Perno. He's on the hunt for him. Can he find him to his left? Ah, uh, Timmy Prono just crouching too fast there. Taz is taken down, and Let takes down Mankey. Celsius are two rounds away from going to China. Yeah, these, this uh, game is slowly slipping through Innovar's hands. Uh, it felt like they did have a little bit of a momentum swing when they made it 2-2, but Celsius just absolutely destroying them. As they're going to show again is in the uh, generator room again, 3v4 situation in favor of Celsius. Yeah, Taz got that opening frag there, but the rest of his team just got naded and outgunned in the generator when they probably should have either worked better together or backed off of the generator there. Uh, so it's going to be 3 to 4 right now for Innover. Uh, Innover, like I said, like two rounds away from losing their chance at going to IFF. That's really huge news, and they definitely might crack out of this pressure here. Uh, Mankey, Kroon, Taz. These are the players that are going to have to clutch this round out. They're going to go up against Subalette and Let, who are both have over a 2.0 KD this this round, this map actually. Um, Mankey is currently 2 and 5, Taz is 3 and 6, Kroon is 6 and 5. Looks like Celsius is going to be often to go for a 2 push here. Taz is kind of playing in a spot where he may not get killed on the entry, but he will have to be a play a vital role in the retake here. Vitsy oh, taking wow. out Taz. Mankey though, stepping up, takes down Syphaz, needs to get a couple more kills like this in this 2v3. Pushed down too. But I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Let just spamming this. He actually gets a kill on Mankey. I don't know why Mankey pushed that when there was pre fire going on. Kroon, let's see what Kroon can do. Can he do his random craziness? He shows why he's number one. He takes down Let. Can he find the second player? No, he cannot find each of them. That's going to be 6-2. to two. Okay, guys, it's power time now. Celsius is one round away from a free trip to China, knocking Innover out of contention for it. Innover... This is absolutely amazing. Both teams are playing out of their mind, but it feels like Innovar is out of their playing conditions. They're not used to pushing as much and aggressively as they usually are. And they did try going passive, but Sibylet is just too much of a monster. Yeah, Mankey does take down Superlet, uh, so good kill there from Mankey, but I just feel like Innovare is cracking under this this pressure, they're demoralized or something, or they're just not playing as a team, they don't believe in themselves, there's little motivation for them, and I think they might be getting frustrated, and all these things just might be going wrong, and they need to stop all of that right now and just start playing their game. Yeah, you can see the nerves starting to get to them. Uh, it's a full man rotate over to one site, 
with the exception of Kimpa, Kimpa's starting to slowly work his way back to cooler. But I think that even though they're a man down, if Celsius actually just sits inside warehouse for maybe until it's 110 or maybe uh, maybe in down to 40 seconds, they could easily take one site. The pressure on Innovar is so immense right now to make sure that they don't lose any more rounds right now is just insurmountable right now. Yeah, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, Cyphus is going to push out here. It's going to be up to Zitor to shut him down. If Cyphus can get one kill or two, it's going to spell disaster for Innovera to just defend this one site. Uh, let Timmy Prona, they're all rotating, taking their time, uh, utilizing every second they have to check every single corner. Good job uh, by Kimpa, just making sure he doesn't get picked. He's standing in a pretty good spot. Uh moving around a lot so he can give his team that peace of mind that they're not going to two yet, guys. Watch one. But Kroon, he's rotated off of one site. He won't be on one site to rotate into the site really quickly and help Zetor out. So it's going to be Zetor against the world right now. He gets a lot of damage, but no kills, so this is going to be a three-man push onto one. Kroon, can you weaken this lineup a little bit? He gets one. Can he follow up with a kill? He gets a second kill onto oh, Syphez. Kroon going absolutely massive. Can he get this triple kill? No, he misses. But he gets the pistol shot anyway. Oh my god. Wow. 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 Clutch Really plays. well played by Kroon. Absolutely huge. 1v3 on the one site. And we're going to see a huge two push right now. Here comes the massive two push into two. One person goes down. Possibly two people go down. Zetor goes down. Vitzi, Cyphers get frags. Zetor and Kimpa go down. 3v4 situation on two. Everyone's rotated. This is going to be an absolutely crazy round. Uh, Innovar's dreams are laying on the line right now. Crew is but trying to get a doing work. The smoke. Oh, and, and that's it's it. going to be game. Operation success. Telsia are going to IFF China. Innovar is knocked out. And they've dethroned Innovar. Oh my um, god. Absolutely amazing god. game. Um, I personally am very surprised. Uh, nice to see such an aggressive team come out of as uh, victorious winners. It's about time. It is, it is, uh, it is definitely long, long awaited for me to see more of an aggressive team to play. Yeah, I, I am shocked that this like this has actually happened. Like I knew it was a possibility, but now that it's actually happened, Innovera's not going. It's going to be Celsius who represents uh, UAVA in China for a chance at a twenty thousand dollar prize pool. That's absolutely crazy! Congratulations to Celsius. Great job on their performance. They definitely earned it. We could tell by their teamwork and their individual skill that they had been practicing. They proved that they were the best multiple times uh, by beating uh, Innovera. Uh, so congratulations to them, uh, yeah, thanks Flying Gun for casting with us tonight. Yeah, absolutely, it was extremely exciting, uh, lots of fun, definitely miss show, show casting, and yeah, I mean, um, there's nothing really to say. Uh, I mean, we obviously we could talk about this for hours on what exactly happened on this match. Uh, maybe you guys in chat want to want to open up the discussion or maybe inform as well. But for sure, yeah. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you all for watching so much. Um, we wouldn't be here with unless it was you guys. Uh, thanks to Area Games making this possible. IEF, thank you for making the tournament international tournament. It really brings the communities together when we can host something like that. A uh, huge, huge, huge thank you to Inc. Uh, he, without him, literally none of this streaming would be done. Uh, no one works as hard as him as uh, these events require a ton of work. So a huge, huge thank you to Inc. Uh, let's see some love in the chat for that guy. Just going crazy. He's going almost as crazy as uh, Celsius did. I don't know, man. Celsius went pretty crazy. I don't think I can compete with that in any regard. Uh, also, the viewers were pretty crazy as well tonight. Uh, pretty much enjoyed the chat pretty thoroughly tonight. Uh, thanks to all of you guys for coming out, uh, supporting not just us in the stream and us, and us casters, but also the players. Uh, it means so much to the players when they play in front of a crowd of 200 or 300 people. 
Uh, it definitely it's a different level of motivation for them, a different dynamic that it's brought to the game. Uh, so great job to you guys for watching the stream, following the channel, and uh, checking out ESL as well. Make sure you guys sign up for the rest of the ESL events in September. And uh, come back in, I think it's November or October, one of those two months where IFF China is played. So uh, make sure you guys come back from that. We will be giving away four keys in the chat. So make sure you guys are following the channel to be eligible if you want to win an FN Fal Cannon or Fal Cannon or whatever it's called. Uh, we'll be doing that very soon. And that's about it. Teams that played. Um... You definitely made it worthwhile for us to be streaming and everything like this. Uh, thank you guys for all competing. Uh, hopefully we see you in the next tournament, as Inc. said. And yeah, a big congratulations to Celsius. Good luck in...